This is intake, this is Operation Sports Wagon, and this is the quintessential Aussie car show that has as much to do about cars as porn has to do about cleaning the pool. Oh, it's really nice. Today on Operation Sports Wagon, we're going to finish Operation Sports Wagon. How does one finish Operation Sports Wagon? Well, it needs coilovers. Boom, they are installed. It needs a strut brace. Boom, it is installed. Why are they installed? Because I had some spare time on my hands. For those who were playing along at home, that was a three beer job. So you might be asking at home, Stiver, what do we need to do on Operation Sports Wagon today? Boom, well, we need to lower it. As you can see, it is already lowered, but we can go lower. I've gone to the bottom of the barrel before. If you saw our Secura Picnic episode, you'll notice that Operation Sports Wagon made its soft debut, which is what I made at 13. <laughs> no, it was a little bit older than that. It wasn't an early starter. I'm an early finisher though. Soft debut at that event, where it went relatively unnoticed by the entire audience, which goes to show that it's exactly the same as the Toyota 86s because they also go unnoticed at events. Um, and it looked pretty much exactly like this. But we can do better. So I've got about 40 mil between the guards and the tires in both the front and the rear to play with here. And um, we're gonna lower this car a little bit more in the same fashion that we lowered the Project Z in the previous episode. We'll link that in the corner. So what we're gonna do is jack this up, wind in the coilovers, um, probably about 30 mil. Doesn't matter if you lower it 30 mil, it doesn't matter if you lower it three inches. Lowering's lowering. So um, what we'll do, jack the car up, take the wheels off, wind these coilovers down. It's gonna be about a two bit job. One for the fronts, one for the rears. I'm about halfway through this beer, so I might need a third one. Hot tip for the day, always keep your coilover wrenches in your car because if you ever uh, are out and about and you need to go to a mechanics, they might require them for some reason. Oh, sometimes you gotta go the two-handed method for a long shaft. So exactly the same as that episode of um, Project Z, what we're gonna do is break the bottom collar, because these are fairly basic coilovers. Wind those down, we'll get a, <clears throat> I don't know, what are we gonna go, 20 mil, 30 mil? Probably 30 mil. So we'll get a 30 mil gap between the top collar and see if that's how far we sort of want to go down. I'm actually a little bit worried. This looks really low. Seven, seven to four. That's twenty mil there. Let's go an inch. Let's make. Let's use the America system and go inches. All right. Let's see where that gives us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight from the bottom. That seems like a good round number. While I'm doing that, why don't you check out our reveal of Operation Sports Wagon. Uh, we have scoured eBay, the internet's Facebook marketplace, Yahoo Auction Japan's to build a car that exemplifies a standard in mediocrity. I think that's how you say that. Word of the day too, mediocrity.
WRX 911 has cost us under $2,000. That was a budget that we set ourselves for this build and that's going to bring me to another point soon. But uh, all in all, it cost us $1,655, including the cost of the car. Uh, I do have a list, actually. Keep your phone in your jocks. I have no pockets in these shorts. You can only piss with the dick you've got. Okay, the H6 Subaru Outback was $600. WRX brakes were $200. WRX front seats were $200. The TN 10 10 coilovers were $185. The Kakimoto exhaust uh, was $85. That's the rear section with the muffler. The Type R Subaru Legacy Type R JDM Styles floor mats were $45. The ST no STI Genome Genome, Genome strut brace was $45. The Legacy grill up front was $20. $20. The WRX wheels were $180. The Halitone horns for the lulls, $40. The HKS air intake was $45. And the STI badge on the back, because it's an STI, an STD, was $10. It's $1655 Australian, so like $12 American. Um, and that doesn't include the parts we sold off the car. The first set of wheels that came with it, the second set of wheels that we bought, which was a little bit of a stuff up that's sort of cutting even, and the crate from the back. I think there was a couple of other bits. I did buy a front bar, um, and I have bought another radiator because, you know, Subaru blows up radiators, probably head gaskets as well. Yeah. Um, still, all in all, we're under $2,000 for this build. So the car's not perfect. We've still got a little bit of rust spots in there. One of the panels could be replaced, but we set out for, with a goal in mind, and um, I think we've achieved that. We're under the $2,000 budget. If I want to keep the car and maybe spend a bit more money, an extra pedal inside of the, the cab might be good. Although it was meant to be a sports car, modern sports cars are all automatic, so whatever. Um, would I repaint it? Probably not swap the, the quarter panel on that side's got a scratch, I'd probably just swap that out with another one from the Wreckers. Wreckers parts are 45 bucks each. So I guess what we've got to do is thank uh, Nulon for, for supplying us the oils for this, uh, Currumburra Exhaust for supplying us with the midsection of the exhaust, um, Import Monkey who import all our gear from overseas. I'm not thanking the people from eBay because they charge a fortune for shit parts. Although, we didn't get any shit parts for this. Well, all we can do is put the wheel on and drop it down. See what it looks like. If we're not happy, we'll lift it back up again. Installation. Reverse of removal. I wonder if that's the case, though. Is removal reverse of installation? Let's go lower. Fuck it. I'll give the people what they want. Let's bottom these out. That's as low as they go. This is going to be fun. Let's just lower them all that way. You gotta do the fronts first. You ease yourself into the front, get that all nice and how you like, and then you might be allowed to do the back. So just while I'm fucking around with this uh, rear, I have to address the elephant in the room, and it's uh, not my ballooning waistline, but we posted up some photos of Operation Sports Wagon on my personal Facebook account not too long ago. List of what had been done and said, that you know, a bit of an inspirational, hey, you can build a car for under two grand. We ended up building this for $1,655 and immediately got a backlash from about 5,000 people saying, that is not a car build. You cannot throw wheels and coilovers, wheels and a set of coilovers and call that a build. And to that I say, well, fuck you, because haters gonna hate. Um, you know, we sort of covered every aspect of this car and the idea was to show 
that you don't have to go to the bank or your parents or start selling drugs to make a half decent car. I mean, it's not going to win car shows, it's not going to win a quarter mile, and it's not going to win a time attack. Unless it's against a Toyota 86. But, um, for under two grand Australian, which is like three bucks fifty American, you can buy a car, throw some wheels on there, throw some suspension mods on there, some some brakes, like a bigger brake upgrade. Fuck all people do that to cars. And we've got four pot brakes instead of the factory two pots. We've got aftermarket seats in there. Uh, the only thing we haven't got is a radio. We've got we've got the factory stereo in there because I listen to talkback radio because I'm old, apparently. My wife says that I am. So yeah, like I will put it to you guys. What makes a car build? Is is our Subaru a build of sorts? Because technically We've done about the same to the Z as what we've done to this. We've done air intake mods, suspension mods, sets of wheels, minor cosmetic things. And yet people froth all over that as, oh, this guy's building a, a sweet car where I've just done some basic bolt-on things so far. Yeah, we've, done to the, we've done the same to this Subaru and people are all like, oh my God, that's not a car build. Wheels and coilovers don't make cars. And well, what do you guys think? I want to hear in the comments below. So, so this is our $2,000 car build. Actually, our $1,655 car build. We got wheels, we got brakes, we've got seats, we've got suspension, we've got uh, cosmetic stuff, exhaust. We've got a bunch of shit that you would put onto a bigger car build in a much, much smaller package. It's not the size that counts, it's how you use it. Use your budget. It's budget size. For all intents and purposes, we have finished Operation Sports Wagon. You saw in the reveal just before that we've got a, a what's this called? Strut brace. We've got a strut brace. We've got some coilovers. We've got wheels. We've got brakes. We've got seats and exhaust system. If you haven't seen that video, and who hasn't? Because it's got more views than everything else for some reason. It's uh, links here. Maybe there. I might put it over here. There'll be a link somewhere. So the big question is, do we fuck this car right off or do we want to do some more work to it? We can fix a little couple of paint imperfections. We can repaint the wheels. We could buy more wheels, blow our budget out since we've finished that sort of part of the project. Um, I want to do window tint if I keep it because it gets hot here in Australia in summer, which it is not now because it's cold. Um, we could turbo it. We could LS1 it, who cares? So maybe you guys want to see a stereo installation in this thing with four subwoofers, I don't know. So um, anyway, we've got a car here that's doing nothing and I've got no goal for it, so let me know in the comments below, a bit of feedback, what you want to see for Operation Sports Wagon. Maybe I should just fuck it right off. So that is the end of Operation Sports Wagon as we know it. However, we have plenty of space in this car for other things. Maybe we have some detailing episodes, some car stereo episodes, some tinting episodes. I don't know. If you guys have anything that you might want to contribute to this car, we could happily grind your gear while we sink our beers um, to make some wicked sick content. We do want to have a race with a GT BRZ Subaru Toyota Toyota Baru for the ultimate boxer non turbo sports car. I think that the wagon trumps all. We can fit so much sporting apparel in this, whereas the GT86 can't fit two people in there properly. And poof, just like fucking magic, there's no beer. So that is the end of the episode. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and the bell, notification bell, and comment. And we've got Facebook which is cool. Oh, we've got Instagram, which is fuck all on there. Um, so I've got to go and work on another car now. <laughs> it's not going to end well.